Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really interesting logo reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. It's gonna be pure After Effects. So it's gonna be a pretty fun tutorial. Let's get started with it. All right, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to main. 1920 into 1080 60 fps and 10 seconds looks good and hit ok so the first thing that we need to do is select the pen tool and set the stroke to around 1 pixels and create a shape like so really random something like this you don't really need to be precise much just trying to create something like so. Something like that looks good. Let's go ahead and let's add a trim part to this and hide this up. So now we can animate the stroke just like that. So let's set this to zero, create a keyframe at the very beginning. Let's go to maybe one second and set this to 100. Create a keyframe on the start property. Let's set this to 100 and create a keyframe. Go back in time and let's set this to zero. And now I'm going to select the keyframe on the start property and just displace them a bit just like so. So now we have something like this. Pretty simple. Let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Let's see what we have. Pretty simple. Now what I'm going to do is let's go to let's say maybe four, four frames and let's crop this up holding alt and close bracket just like that and I'm going to create some copies of the stroke so let's hit control D so I'll go with maybe eight copies looks good to me and let's say our first stroke is set to one pixels I'm going to click on the second one and I'm going to set this to two pixels third one at three pixels and so forth and so on fourth one to four pixels and the same thing with five let's set this to five six to six seven to seven and eight to eight all right then i'm going to select all the layers just like that go into animation keyframe assistance and sequence layers and hit ok and then we can just drag them just like so so now we have something like this pretty cool as you can see pretty nice let's select them and hit U so we can see just the keyframes and maybe I'll just bring them a bit closer I think I think that is a bit too slow so let's select all the keyframes by holding shift and just bring them a bit closer so now we have something like this pretty nice so there we have it let's pre comp all the layers so hit ctrl A to select all the layers and hit ctrl shift C to pre compose it and let's call this stroke underscore one hit OK and then basically what I'm going to do is add a simple choker to get rid of this you know this anti-aliasing issues so let's set this to 1 it's going to fix this a bit as you can see if I set this to full you can see it more properly now it's fixed up so this is looking pretty good then I'm gonna hit control D and create four copies so now we have four strokes as you can see and let's rotate them up so I'm gonna set this to somewhere around there let's say and I'm gonna rotate this or maybe I'll just select all the layers and hit R to bring down the rotation properties and let's rotate this like so maybe let's say 90 degree let's set this one to 180 degree and this one to I guess 270 degree something like that so now we have something like this pretty cool so as you can see this is looking really nice maybe I'll select all the layers and rotate them a bit just like so so now we have something like this let's change the color of this ones to maybe red then select this two or maybe this to and hit control D to duplicate it change the colors so let's say maybe yellow bring this down 
and scale this up a bit to maybe 120 pixels and I'm going to rotate them also I'm going to displace them a bit just like so so now we have just these two strokes that we have and I'm going to rotate them in a different direction maybe something like this so now we have something like this let's bring them a bit closer yep this is looking pretty nice let's leave it right away here for now and let's create a new composition let's call this logo stroke this is gonna be a mat for our logo so let's underscore new to stroke hit ok and I'm gonna select the pen tool and this time I'm gonna create somewhat of a similar shape but this is gonna be something like this now obviously you can try and experiment with different shapes if you want to you can take your time and create some really nice and complex shapes if you want to so let's say I'm gonna leave it right over here and let's increase the stroke animation or the stroke sorry not the stroke animation the stroke size to somewhere um, there all right let's say 50 50 looks good also go into contents shape one and go into stroke and set this to butt cap to rounded cap from butt cap so the edges are rounded instead of being kind of choppy so let's animate this pretty quick let's set this one and add a trim path and then we can uh, you know animate the end property just like that let's set this to zero create a keyframe at the very beginning of course go to one second and set this to 100 so now we have something like this hit f9 to easy ease this okay pretty cool let's select this and I'm gonna do the same thing in a different way like we did before for the stroke so I'm gonna set this to around let's say four frames hold alt and close bracket to crop this up and I'm gonna create a few copies so let's say maybe 10 copies this time and let's um, pretty quickly set now as you can see first of all that the shape layer 1 has the stroke pixels of 50 so I'm gonna select the second one and set this to around 40 select the third one set this to around let's maybe 35 select this one set this to 30 so the fifth one 25 sixth one 20 seventh one 15 8th one 10 9th one to maybe 5 and this one to let's say let's go with 2 pretty cool let's bring them or align them in a different you know a different way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the second one bring this down so the third one bring this down fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine and ten something like that let's select all the layers go to animation keyframe assistant and sequence layer hit ok and let's drag this up just like so so this is not what i actually want so let's hit ctrl z and i think we don't need to move them I'm gonna just leave it just like that select them and let's go into animation keyframe assistance and sequence layers hit ok and I think this should work yep this is gonna work this is looking pretty nice as you can see let's uh, go into main composition and drag the logo stroke right over here just like that we can solo this up and add a simple choke or maybe just copy this one so hit ctrl C to copy it select the logo stroke and hit ctrl V to paste it up so now we have something like this now if I go into full resolution you can see we have some really nice animation also I'm gonna change the color to maybe let's a blue one so we can see it more properly and then we can go ahead and add our logo to it so I'm gonna just pretty quickly add a logo maybe this one a sample logo that I have center this up and scale this down bring this on or below our logo show oh, let's bring this oh this, this looks pretty good let's leave it just like that let's hide all the strokes we have just the logo stroke right over here let's bring down the scale of our logo or the size of a logo 
and let's change the track mat to alpha mat so now we have something like this now as you can see it's a bit smaller so we can increase the size a bit just like so so now we have something like this pretty cool there we have it let's turn on all the other strokes that we have and we can display this a bit maybe somewhere on there so as you can see this is looking pretty good now what I'm gonna do is let's create a new camera let's set this to 35 millimeters and also I'm gonna turn all the layers in through into 3d layer so let's turn this on and let's pre-compose it let's you know select this logo and let's pre-compose it let's call this logo and then I'm gonna make it 3d just like that let's switch to top view and I'm gonna select this strokes first of all this two bring this on the top and bring this forward in time forward in Z space a bit so somewhere around there you can say select this fold and I'm going to displace them a bit just like that I'm doing it pretty randomly you can of course take your time and make it look more nice if you want to but this is going to look nice as well <laughs> let's select this one let's place it somewhere around there logo place it somewhere around there okay now let's go into the active camera view so we have something like this nothing really cool at the moment but let's you know animate our camera so hit p to bring down the position now we can animate our camera and you can see a little bit of parallax so let's pretty quickly key keyframe the animation so let's go to maybe four or five seconds create a keyframe on the position go back in time and let's maybe somewhere around there let's go let's put this back and bring that keyframe at the very beginning now we have something like this maybe a bit more I guess just like so okay so this is looking very nice you can also play around with the depth of field and whatnot if you want to but I'm gonna set this to off for now and also what I'm gonna do is pre-comp all of the layers so hit control shift C to pre-compose it let's call this animation and also I'm gonna add a bit of a sharpness to this so let's add a bit of a sharpen to make it look really nice and sharp maybe 20 also set this to full so this is looking pretty good actually now let's go ahead and add a four color gradient to color this up let's place it somewhere around just like so and I'm gonna make it kind of a darker pink same for the green one but a bit more darker and for this one we can go with the blue if we want to but I'm gonna go with a little vibrant or maybe you know lighter blue same for this one maybe a bit darker just like so so now we have something like this which looks pretty cool let's add a background pretty quick so hit ctrl y to create a new solid and let's rename this to bg for background and add a gradient ramp to this set this to radial ramp bring this below and swap the colors in the center and just drag it just like so and for this one I'm gonna go with kind of a darker desaturated blue color like something like so and for this one I'm gonna go with more darker blue just maybe something like this increase the ramp scatter to get rid of the color bendings so bring this really high something like that looking pretty nice let's add a bit of a curves adjustment to this and 
and make this a bit lighter just like so so there we go looking nice and add a bit of a noise as well maybe two percent should be good yep this will help us to get rid of all the color bendings and let's go ahead and add some glow to this thing to make it look really cool increase glow radius yeah, maybe something like that and there we have some really cool looking animation as you can see looks really nice and one more cool thing that you could do is if I add a drop shadow to this it's um, you know like so let me bring this up so now we have something like that and I'm gonna bring down the opacity just low so this makes our animation looks more complex as you can see we have this really kind of a double scaling effect see neon -y effect that we get which looks interesting you can go with this if you want to if you don't you know it's all your choice you can make it look really interesting using the drop shadow effect as you can see so this looks pretty cool I'm liking it and let's say I'll set this to maybe 20% and bring down this up just like so so now we have something like that and one more cool thing that you can do with this effect is if I duplicate the animation hit ctrl D and displace this a bit and get rid of the focal gradient now we have a really cool looking effect as well so set this to auto you can see this looks cool as well so you can use it this way and you know make it look more interesting pretty cool right or maybe I'll just bring down the intensity if I want to something like that but I don't think I'm gonna use this just a quick idea that you can use it all right so now let's add some shadows to this so hit ctrl D to duplicate it bring this below and let's rename this to shadow and I'm gonna hit S to bring down the scale properties unlink this and scale this down just like so or maybe something like that put it right over here get rid of the focal gradient the drop shadow the sharpen the glow and let's leave a, just a fill on this one make it black so I can use it this way as well but to make it look more interesting and realistic we can add a, a fast blur and bring this up just like so maybe I'll set this to white or maybe I'll just use a focal gradient control C control V delete the fill so it looks more realistic as you can see really really cool pretty happy with that as you can see this is looking really nice and cool and you know you don't need to create the same exact shapes that I created you can use different shape maybe you know more geometric shapes like a square triangles and whatnot but the main idea is the but the main object of this tutorial is to give you guys an idea of creating some really cool animation using some simple ways in After Effects so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you learned something new today like the video right now if you like this tutorial if you love this tutorial make sure to hit that subscribe button and show some love so that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative